I'm Linda Elsiegood, founder of the LDN Research Trust. It has been my honour to interview LDN researchers, prescribers, pharmacists and patients from around the world for many conditions. Thank you for joining us. This evening I'm joined by Sheila from the United States. Sheila takes LDN for fibromyalgia. Thank you for joining me, Sheila. You're welcome. Could you tell us when you first noticed that there was something wrong with you? Um, I would say probably in 2010. Um, I really was convinced that I had MS. <clears throat> Pardon me. I uh, went to my doctor <clears throat> and convinced him to do an MRI. And um, <clears throat> pardon me. That day in the doctor's office, I remember my blood pressure was really high, and um, and I was on blood pressure medicine. And he said, "Well, this could be part of the problem." But I was just hurting all over and crying, and had no energy, and just just felt really, really bad. Thought something, you know, like I said, I was had, you know, I'm a nurse. <laughs> Uh, sometimes we're the worst. Uh, I'm an RN and, and just read up, you know, and researched and really was convinced I had enough. So he agreed and I did. And at that time, he says, I don't think you have MS. He said, you don't want MS. And uh, he said, I think you have fibromyalgia. And I said, well, my sister has that and I don't want that either. I don't <laughs> want any of it, but something's wrong. So, um, when they did the um, MRI, I had to make an appointment to see a neurologist to actually have it looked at. And he looked at it, and, and that day that I saw him, you know, he said, you don't have MS, you have no lesion. You know, um, I think your symptoms can be attributed to, to fibromyalgia. I think you have fibromyalgia. So anyway, it was that day that I kind of had to to accept it. And... Um, so, and I noticed uh, I started changing as far as what I did and and just trying to pace myself. And um, so, um, you know, just, just changing the way that I work because I had uh, gone back to school and became a massage therapist. I kind of got burned out with nursing. So I was doing a lot of massage and um, and it was kind of, you know, I found myself pushing myself a lot and just going beyond what I knew I should shouldn't have been doing and it got to the point where I had to stop totally stop doing doing massage mm-hmm. so do you work now I actually um in um January um started doing uh, returning to doing a little bit of massage um, again, I can make my own schedule and if I wake up that day and can't get out of bed, I just call them and schedule, but I do, I don't do a lot. I have two days that I have pretty much, um, marked off the, my calendar two days a week for massage and I may have one, and I may have two, it, it just depends. So, mm-hmm. if we can go back a little bit. Um, could you tell us what your symptoms were like before you found LDN? I would wake up um, in the morning never knowing how I was going to feel that day. Um, I would always wake up feeling like I didn't want to get up because I was just too tired to get up. I never really felt refreshed. But usually I would get up and have coffee and, and get in the shower and then just kind of see how I was feeling. And then from then I would just kind of determine whether or not I was going to be able to, you know, go to the grocery store or clean the house or do laundry or whatever it was that I may have had scheduled that day, whether or not I was going to be able to, to do it or not. So the big thing was just feeling really, really, really just totally fatigued and just so tired like I hadn't slept in like a month. Um, and like I could sit down, I felt as though I could sit down and, and fall asleep almost anywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, in depressed, kind of depressed mood, in spite of being on antidepressants, um, just feeling just kind of low mood. 
Uh, and then if I had absolutely, you know, things that I ha- had committed to that I had to do, um, I would push myself to do these things. And in a day or so, then I would usually be down totally, meaning, you know, I wasn't going anywhere that, that day. You know, I would be feeling ill, like I was had the flu. You know, I would just have chills and fever where I couldn't feel like I, I didn't feel like I could get warm and just usually end up in the recliner the whole day, you know, with piles of um, um, throws over me to, to kind of stop the chills. So, and that's when I began to notice, um, you know, this is not right. This is, this is just so, so odd for me because I was always such high energy, you know? So, Mm -hmm. Um, from that, I learned, you know, I, I had overdone it. I just had not uh, paced myself and just, just did too much. So at that point, if you were to rate your quality of life on a score of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, what would it have been? Mm, I would say probably like a 3 maybe. Mm-hmm. And how did you hear about LDN? Actually, I've been seeing a doctor who balances hormones uh, probably for about five years. <clears throat> and um, she had suggested the LDN a few years ago. And I, I think I was still probably in denial with the fibromyalgia. And, um, you know, I told her I, I, I didn't think I, I needed that at that point. So... Uh, I saw her in December of last year, and um, she suggested it again, and and um, I started, she gave me some literature on it, and um, just went home and kind of researched it, and, you know, um, thought, I would like to try this. So, yes, Dr. Um, Kim Sanders, she's actually a, a doctor of osteopathy and worked for the big chain, you know, the big hospital chain here that, you know, owns all the physicians' offices, I think, now. And she just kind of got burned out and decided to go into balancing hormones. So um, so she's more into the holistic and looking at, you know, the everything and, and why are these symptoms occurring. And, you know, let's just not treat the symptoms. Let's get down to what's wrong and, and treat the source of the problem. Mm-hmm. And I know just from reading that um, what I have now, you know, been able to read and, and find out is that, you know, it's the immune system that's affected with these autoimmune diseases. Not so much that they're, um, that there's something wrong. It's almost like they work too well, I guess, so to say. Um, I, did I answer that question? <laughs> yes, you did. You did. <laughs> I first so, found out about LDN. Yeah. 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 So from, from, from my doctor. Yeah. When you first started LDN, did you have any side effects? I did, and I would say the biggest side effect was the sleep, where I had a lot of difficulty falling asleep, um, and then sometimes when I did get to sleep, I would wake up. But see, with the fibromyalgia, I always have problems with that anyway. So, and that, that is one of the things that goes along with fibromyalgia is sleep disorders. And so I already had that problem anyway. So I really wasn't real concerned about it because I always took something to help me sleep anyway. And um, I would take, I would rotate between melatonin and Benadryl and sometimes a Xanax. So I was using those things anyway to help me fall asleep. So as far as being a negative side effect, that that was one that was the major one. And even today, I still have um, I don't have any problem falling asleep now. I sleep that good, but I still have those vivid dreams that they talk about. You know, I, I have those, mm-hmm. and you really remember your dreams. So, but what I noticed, <laughs> pardon me again, what I noticed immediately with LDN is the mood change, just an improvement in mood, which was huge for me. And when I took it, I thought, well, if this is the only thing it does 
for me positively, then this is good. <laughs> mm-hmm. <clears throat> and how has the pain been since you've been on LDN? If, mm-hmm. if we could just tell people how long you've been taking LDN for now. Yes, I started January 15th. I started at 1.5 milligrams. Mm-hmm. And I was on that for two months and felt really good, had really good energy and was feeling really, almost feeling like my old self. Well, into that second month, I, you know, the fatigue kind of started setting in again. So I called her and then called my doctor and told her, you know, what was going on. And she said, would you like to, to go ahead and increase up to three? So we did that. So I was on the three milligrams for about a month and never really did seem to get my energy back. So I called her and I said, well, maybe I need to go up. So I am now on 4.5. Mm-hmm. But I do think, I do think because there's not a lot of um, uh, research in a lot of uh, drug studies that have gone into this to see how this is going to react with the other medications that you're on. So I think it's kind of like an experimental thing where you have to say, okay, is is this LDN, you know, working so well that maybe the medication that I'm taking for the other things, you know, they they're they're helping them to work even better. So um, I was taking 10 milligrams of amitriptyline for migraines, for migraine pain, mm-hmm. and I I do know they also give that for fibromyalgia, I was already on it. So I just continued taking it. And um, it really, you know, been on it since I was 29 years old for migraines. So what I have done with the LDN and just the feeling so tired, the, the fatigue, when I say being tired, the fatigue was different. It wasn't waking up feeling like, oh my God, you know, I'm so tired. You know, like I haven't had any sleep. It just, it, it was waking up and feeling as though I needed, like I needed more. I, I don't know. It was just a different kind of feeling. So what I started doing is, as I started taking the LDN in the morning, rather than taking it, <clears throat> pardon me, rather than taking it at nighttime along with the, um, with the amitriptyline. So now I'm taking the amitriptyline at night and I'm taking the LDN in the morning and everything is kind of back to being good again. You know, I feel energetic, you know, again. Again, I still have fibromyalgia. You know, I still can't overdo it. But, you know, the mood the mood is so improved. And, you know, I wake up in the morning and I feel like getting up and doing things. Mm-hmm. So, um, it's just, it's to me, it's amazing. <laughs> it's just amazing. And, um you know, my sister, um, she's going to be starting on it soon. She has to wean off of tramadol. You can't take tramadol. Um, that's what she was taking for her fibromyalgia. Um, and her husband has um, called um, IBM, inclusive body myositis. And it's a rare kind of autoimmune disease. And he actually had to go to Cleveland Clinic be diagnosed because the doctors in northern Kentucky and Ohio they knew something was wrong they didn't know what it was every test that they did came back negative they thought he had that ALS they thought maybe he had MS everything came back negative and uh, he ended up going to um, Cleveland Clinic and the doctor that he saw knew immediately she had him walk across the, the floor and she knew immediately he has um, the nerves that innervate the muscles are are not doing what they're supposed to do. So he has muscle weakening. Mm-hmm. So he's lost the strength in his hands and his arms and his legs. So, um, you know, I've just been, <clears throat> and that is one of the things that's listed in your book. It says, or in the LDN fact sheet that this could, that LDN could help. So he is on it now. <laughs> Oh, he's good. on 1.5, and his mood is improved, and he's energetic. Wow. So, yes, he's very happy. 
<laughs> if we would see. He still can't believe it. He <sighs> says, is this just the placebo effect? I said, no, it is not. <laughs> it is not. It is amazing. So if you were to rate your quality of life now on that score of 1 to 10, what would it be? Well, I would say my quality of life is very close to a 10. Well, how? <laughs> well, I would say that, it? yes. Yes. Wonderful. What would you say to other people with fibromyalgia who are rather skeptical about starting LDN? Um, well, I mean, just in, I would just tell them that you, that you have nothing to lose. The biggest obstacle is finding a doctor who will prescribe it because most of the doctors, the allopathic doctors, I mean, they're trained, you know, to write prescriptions for medications, and this is off-label use, and so it, it frightens them. Um, so that's the biggest obstacle that they're going to find. I have a niece who has been, um, um, where is she? Not New York, but somewhere up there east. <laughs> anyway, she has lupus. And in fact, she's going, you know, I've just been telling her about the LDN and sent her the LDN fact sheet and, you know, just told her how, how well it's helping so many people today. And mm -hmm. um, she's going to see, see a new neurologist. In fact, her appointment is today um, to talk about the LDN to see if, you know, it was something that, something that, that this new doctor would order for her. So I think, um, you know, I think a lot of the doctors, um, you know, have, if they're open to it, you know, and maybe going to the um, conference that, you know, I know the one you had this year in Orlando and then the one that's coming up, or last year and then the one that's coming up this year. You know, if a lot of them would just go to these conferences and learn uh, what this medication can do for autoimmune, because I don't think they have much in their arsenal that helps autoimmune. Mm, so true. Yes, I would recommend. I would recommend it to anyone with fibromyalgia, with MS, anyone with any, an autoimmune disease to give this a try. You know, what can it hurt? Thank you for sharing your experience so. with us. You are very welcome. I'm glad to do it. And I'm very thankful to have found it. And for what you're doing too, Linda. Thank you. Do you have LDN experience to share? If so, please email me, linda at ldnrt.org. I look forward to hearing from you.